Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. All right, y'all, it's Friday, so happy weekend to you. As always, we have our Dollar Tree Friday haul, and I hit the jackpot. There's so many brand new finds finally coming into my Dollar Trees. I'm talking like everyday home decor, fragrances, crafting. I mean, there's just so much good stuff right here. Just y'all, there's so much good stuff. All right, as always, I love to start my haul with my most favorite thing. And oh my gosh, look at these brand new signs for a dollar twenty-five. Everything in this haul is a dollar twenty-five. Look, I was shocked, y'all. This is like something you're gonna pay five dollars for somewhere else. Look at that. So this one right here, and the best thing is, it's double-sided. It says, kitchen open, roll on in. But you flip it, and it says, kitchen closed, beat it. <laughs> Look at that. That is great. Look, you're on this little metal holder. Look how great that is. Seriously, I love this. I love that it's double-sided. So this one, they also had welcome to our home. I love it. Y'all, this is like how I decorate our home. I love the coloring, that one. And then you flip it and it says family gathers here with the wood tone. Isn't that nice? Because at first, um, the way they were displayed, I saw this one, and then I thought it was this one too. So I was like kind of torn which one to get, until I realized I get both. I get both of them for $1.25. So that is great. Um, it's got a nice little feel to it. But, wow. Good job, Dollar Tree. They had these brand new to me. I've never seen these before. Look at these glass vases. Look, and it's a really good size. It almost looks like a squatty little pumpkin. It's got the little um, twine, like a little bow around it, and it is a little vase. So they have this um, clearish orange color. They also had just a clear, um, they are like a glass, the clear, and they also had like a gray one. To where, see, that's like kind of like this clear orange. It was like a clear gray. It was like a smoky gray. But I thought these were great. Pop me down some little fall leaves or something coming out of them. Some little, like, um, wheat picks. How great are those? All right. I'm just kind of mix around. That way you don't get bored with one thing. I found Peds. Name brand Ped socks for women. Look, it's black and like a pink on the heel and the toe, but it's um three pair blister free no show socks. How great are these for like some like our little low cut boots or something? Wow, and Peds, that's a big name brand. It says ladies, shoe size five to 10. And the quality, y'all, the feel so good. So I was happy to find these. All right, in the toy section, they had Crayola Glitter Sidewalk Chalk, and you get five big sticks. Look at that. Uh, oh shoot, I can't open it, it's sealed. So, my little niece turns four on Monday, so I'm gonna add this to her gift. So, I got her that, and it says it's glitter. I wish I could open this up, but it is completely like glued and sealed. But, wow. All right, speaking of birthdays, Presley turns 19 tomorrow. Um, September 23rd, tomorrow, which is tomorrow, she turns 19. So, I got her, y'all, I always go to Dollar Tree for party stuff. I got her this really cute bag. It says, yay, it's your day. Look how cute. I love that. I thought it was just so fun for her. So I got her this for one of her gifts. I got her some pretty like striped, some pretty like striped wrapping paper, 
all those beautiful colors. This really pretty blue bow to go with it. I thought that was really pretty together. So I got that for a present. All right, <laughs> while they are sleeping, I always decorate for their birthday. Um, that way when they wake up in the morning, like the house is decorated. So <laughs> she's 19, but the girl loves dinosaurs. Y'all, Dollar Tree had some cute dinosaur stuff. So I got her this, it's a table. <laughs> table decoration it says happy birthday it's like pink and purple glitter and it's got like dinosaurs it's gonna like stand up around it uh yeah so this is gonna be like sitting probably like on the island in the morning <laughs> so this um i got her a really colorful like happy birthday banner which will kind of go like right here between the living room and the kitchen that these dinosaur swirly, twirly decorations. It's gonna like dangle from the ceiling. Look, it's got dinosaurs. <laughs> Different colored dinosaurs. How cute, y'all. <laughs> I also got some inflatable. They had blow up inflatable balloons of dinosaurs. I wish they were different colors, but they're both green. They have a 23 and a half inch, it's almost two feet tall, T-Rex. See it? Oh, that's so cute. And then they also had a cute, like 22 inch brontosaurus. <laughs> These may be on the counter too, or I don't know. But um, how cute is that? So I got her these. We're doing donuts, so I got her some little <laughs> little dinosaur plates for the donuts. Look, and you get 18 of them. Oh, some rainbow tissue paper for the gift bag. You get 24, and you get out so many bright, fun colors. And then I also got her the gold 14 inch numbers. So I got the one and the nine for 19. Look how pretty all of this is gonna be together. Like it all just matches perfectly. I love it. And even though, like I said, she's turning 19, she's gonna love this. <laughs> oh, I also grabbed some of the balloon glue. The little glue dots, these were great. And these are also great when you're decorating. If you're trying to keep something like, kinda like tilted just a little bit, but it keeps like falling back over, Get you some of these little glue dots. They're so great when you're trying to like decorate and display something like a little off. So love these and you get a hundred glue dots. Oh, I also grabbed this little banner that says happy birthday. It was before I saw like the really colorful one. This one's a little bit different. Like, I think this is new. Yeah, look, this is like pastel colors and the happy birthday is in gold. See that? So this may go like up in her room or something, or like in the hallway or something upstairs when she walks out of her room. It has a flower and it comes with some white string. But I thought that was really pretty. Hey, right, brand new pet find. They have all purpose pet mat. Look at this. This is 18.9 inches by 16.14 inches. And look, it's got like little paw prints all over it. So, let's see what this is. Like I said, it just says all purpose mat. There you go. <laughs> look, the cute little paw prints. You could put this under the little food and water bow if you need to line their cage or something with it. I don't really know what else she would use this for though. But if you can think of something else to do with this, let us know. <laughs> let us know down in the comments. Yeah, I am a sucker for new things at Dollar Tree. If I see something new, I get so excited and I just kind of grab it. <laughs> All right, in the automotive section, I don't know if this is like a name brand, but it's called Gunk Getter. Look. 
like a blue ghost on the front of it and it's like a like a like a goo to like you can like clean your car clean like little tight crevices keyboards and stuff have you ever used something like this but it says great for cleaning hard to reach places in cars keyboards clippers and much more it just says a cleaning gel you know what let's open it up we're gonna see what this is um, ah! <laughs> it's slimy oh it's like cold and slimy filling ah! oh this oh that's weird <laughs> that is so weird to judge it almost smells like blue raspberry a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, so you're supposed to like be able to like to clean like all the like crumbs and stuff out of your car or like dust out of your keyboard. So I have never tried anything like this before. So I am curious to see how well it works. <laughs> but yeah, it's just called a gunk getter right there. That is so weird, Philin. Mm. Oh, I grabbed this to go coffee cup. Look at that right there. I love the whole black and white, that farmhouse kind of look. I love this. This is going to be part of my our um, patio following decor. <laughs> I need this to go outside for something. But I, just, I love the whole black and white. It's gonna match perfectly outside. So I got this right here. They had name brand Kellogg's Special K, um, like breakfast bars. Look, and it came wrapped like this. Let's open this up. So it is Special K Strawberry Pastry Crisp. 100 calories now what does it say about carbs and sugar so i'm not worried about calories my thing i've lost 30 pounds my thing has been carbs and sugar <laughs> that's how i have lost 30 pounds is i've cut out all the excess carbs and i cut out all my extra sugars but this has 20 carbs and seven yeah seven sugars so to me this has a lot of carbs for for what i do but <laughs> but somebody around here eat these and it's strawberry oh i grabbed more of the little peanut butter crackers i always keep these in my car because when i pick up riley from school <laughs> he's always starving so these are like a staple in my car all right the floral garden section it's what it's called they have brought back the good ribbon <laughs> so y'all i grabbed this orange and white polka dot ribbon once again it's that floral garden just that dollar tree brand uh let's see is this wired oh it's not wired i was hoping it would be wired i should know better but there's the orange with the little white polka dots I also got black with white polka dots. Then I got this orange. I got purple. And I think I got a yellow. Yeah, and I got a yellow. But how great are these colors right here for Halloween? So like Halloween, like making some bowls and crafting. I love those right there. And then you could also do like some candy corn. Something candy corn with that. You could throw that orange and white polka dot in there too. Once again, something candy corn themed. I love this ribbon. Um, and they're all nine feet long, so three yards. All right, more brand new home decor find. Y'all, look at these little house signs. And they have like little wood beads in between them. Look at that. It is so great. The little house shapes. So you have this one that says home. This one 
that says live. And then they also had love. Wow, y'all, these are so good. Craft with these, completely redo these. You do not have to leave it as is. Make it say fall. You know, if you want, turn it over. Paint it up, make it say fall. I could see these painted as something gingerbread, like the little gingerbread houses. I love it. Paint them black. Make them like a little spooky, like um, haunted houses. Ah! You know, as I see this stuff, I'm like, remember that. I need to remember that. Because <laughs> I say stuff in videos, and then I completely forget about it. But yeah, how cute right now. Paint this black for little haunted houses. All right, we need to do, we need to do that. So that, speaking of that, I just filmed a fall like crafting video. So that will be posted this weekend. So look for that. Um, I wonder if I could add these to that video. I don't know, I think I've already edited, but we'll see. But if not, we'll do something with these. They had some brand new candles. Y'all, I am a sucker for candles that look like something. They're wrapped like this. So I'm gonna open this up for us. Cause it's really hard to tell what it looks like in this wrapper. But it's like a beautiful it's like a flower. It's almost like a sunflower in a way. Look, isn't that so pretty? It does not have a smell. Like there's no scent to it, but you have this like, butterscotch almost color. <laughs> I'm getting butterscotch. And then, let's see, what's this one? All right, and this more of an orange color. See that? They also had like a white, kind of a creamy color, and maybe one other, I took a picture. So the ones I did not buy, I took a picture of, I'll post it right here so that you can see the other colors. But like I said, they're in this wrapper. So they're kind of hard to tell, but at least you can tell the color. How cute are these? I love them. So those, and if you kind of notice, I'm like surrounded by like fall, Halloween over here. This is a huge candy corn jack-o'-lantern that we made together like two or three years ago. So if you're interested, so if you're interested in this big candy corn jack-o'-lantern, I'll link it down below for you. All right, they had, y'all, they have name brand nail polish. I love nail polish. Uh, okay, that's another thing I'm always bud. But they had Maybelline. Maybelline Fast Gel. This is a two-in-one base and top coat. It's right here. Look at that. Maybelline, huge name brand. They also had with the yellow um, little lid, um, Maybelline Fast Gel. <laughs> the kids have been making fun of me lately because I'm like, what's that say? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, 60 second fast dry top coat. Jeez. That. And they had package like this, Essie. That E-S-S-I-E, -S -S Essie. That is a big name brand nail polish. So, let's open this, this up. All right. So this right here, like, it's got like gold diamonds going across it. But, look how beautiful that color is. This color right here reminds me of my mom. Like, as she got older, she didn't want like red nails anymore. So she'd always like paint them like something like this. But I love this color. It's so pretty. Oh yeah, that is very nude. <laughs> that is very like shimmery, but nude. Like I just put it on my thumb. I don't even think you can tell. Yeah. I mean, that definitely would take like two or three coats just to be able to tell just a little bit. So I guess it would put like a little shine to you. There's not a lot of color. So that one. 
They also had this one, and this looks kind of black to me. Let's open this up. Does it say the color? Like, I don't even see like the color name on these. All right, what color is this? Woo! Yeah, that is like a black. Oh, <laughs> wow. That, look at that right there. That is like, that's like black. Wow. Like for this time of the year, it is really cool. And if you're doing a boo basket for somebody and they love like a black nail polish, name brand, Essie, put this in a boo basket. You could also get, um, <laughs> knocking stuff over. You could also get some white nail polish. <laughs> Hopefully I don't hit this on anything. Okay, they also have that new color right here. It is color 901. I love this stuff. Now I do have to do like two or three coats of it, but I love it. Uh, yeah, there's no name. It just says 901. So let's try this really quick. So here is this one. See? Now that's a really pretty color, but this is three coats. I had to just do three coats of this. It has like a little bit of like little glitter here and there, but it is a very pretty like fall color. That one, and then, <laughs> that is like black. Ooh, another brand new home decor find. Look at this. Have you seen these yet? I was shocked. I just found this today. Look at it. And it's on this little like stand, this little wooden stand. How cute. Um, You got the little gold, little grommets all the way around it. Of course, you got this little like burlap little bow and you've got the little clip up here to, um, to put a picture. Even if you don't like the look of it, you could completely redo this. <laughs> and that was kind of my thought too. That's kind of one of the reasons I grabbed it. Like I feel like there's something like cute and crafty we could do to this. What? Oh, I also found this little like pumpkin candle holder. Look, and they only had this one orange. They also had like a yellow and a green, but this orange is how I decorate. Look, you put like a candle right there. How cute. Yeah, so I will be on the lookout for one more of these. All right, let's get into some new like household fragrances. Y'all, our house is gonna smell like a pumpkin patch. <laughs> <laughs> they had this right here pumpkin spice scent sweet warm and spicy gel air freshener and it says it's an odor neutralizer ne <laughs> it says it's an odor neutralizer right here um it is sealed so i thought we could open this up together it's nine ounces so yeah it's got the little seal on it let's see what this smells like Oh, yeah, that's like a, that is definitely like a, <laughs> a solid gel. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, that is very like pumpkin spice. And you could put these in your car. Wow. Yeah, that smells good. This would be good in a bathroom. So that's where ours, that's where ours is going to one of the bathrooms. Wow. I love that smell. We are very like pumpkin, spice, cinnamon. My husband loves apple scents, but that is good. And actually, oh, I didn't. Okay, so I got pumpkin spice. They also had brown vanilla sugar. So let's smell this one. <laughs> they just fell onto my pants. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Right away, that hits you. Um, it smells good. It's like a little vanilla, but there's something else that I'm getting. But that does smell good. Wow. All right, put that on there. Yeah, that smells really good too. Ooh, 
Yeah, but that pumpkin right there, that's my favorite. But look for these. So those, they also had pumpkin spice crystal beads. Look how pretty that looks. Those little beads in there. So <laughs> let's open this one up and see what it smells like. Take that off. Oh gosh, that's strong. But yeah, it's all those little like beads. Yeah, I don't know if I took a big old whiff, but that was strong. Um, like it smells good, but I definitely like the gel better. There is a difference in the smell. Even though it says they're the exact same thing of each other, the gel smells better. This one's just like really strong smelling. Right. They also had this fancy looking bottle. <laughs> uh, this is brown vanilla sugar scent, sweet vanilla molasses, linen and room spray with essential oil. So this is eight ounces. Ah, who makes this? Now this is not a Greenbrier brand. So let's try this and see what it smells like. Is there a little... Yeah, there's a little, a little twisty thing right here. All right, let's see. <laughs> that was a big, <laughs> that was a big whiff. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that does. That is very just like that warm vanilla. Yeah, that smells good. I love vanilla, especially like in the fall. That's like one of my signature colors. Wow, I do. I like that a lot. So, thank goodness, I grabbed two of them. <laughs> one for upstairs, one for downstairs. So, I did get two of these. And then they also had Wizard. That's a big name brand. Pumpkin Spice Room Spray. I'm telling you, we're going to smell like a big old pumpkin patch in here. But, is this a little twisty or anything? All right. I get that vanilla. All right, so here's a pumpkin spice. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, that is de <laughs> that is definitely pumpkin spice. That smells good. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna walk around the house spraying this. That smells so good. All right, gosh, y'all. Crafter Square, oh my goodness, brand new finds in the Crafter Square section. All right, they have tools. Look, they have Crafter Square pliers. And look, it has a pink handle. Uh, now to me, this is a wire cutter. So, but they're calling it pliers. But to me, this right here, it's a wire cutter. Look at that, see the shape of it? So they had this one, and they also had this one, which once again, they're calling pliers, but this to me is needle, needle nose. Like that pretty blue handle. Let's see, it's like a needle. <laughs> It'd be so nice if I could talk. Needle nose pliers. Wow, now I have my own tools. I don't have to keep going getting my husband's pliers. Look at that. And I'm going to keep this in my craft stash. I love it. I love the colors too. So, brand new fine. At least brand new to my Kentucky stores. So, got these. They also had crafting. It's called a paper pack. I mean, it's scrapbook paper. But look, how great is this? It is 24 sheets, six by six, right there. Let's open this up and see what we get. All right, I'm so excited, y'all. I love scrapbook paper. Look, you've got like a gray. All right, those of you that wanna see this, I'm gonna show you. You've got I think the kids are about to walk in the front door. <laughs> uh, gray gingham. You've got like a pale blue and white little polka dot. 
See that? All right. You also have this kind of peachy gingham. And then you've got like this mauvey pink white polka dot. Uh, here's kind of a, ooh, this would be so cute with like a scarecrow. Look at that. I can see something for a scarecrow with this right here. That one. Um, here is a kind of like an olive green in white polka dots. Hopefully the color's coming through for you. That one. Here is a kind of a bright green little plaid. That's really cute. Um, here's a bright green with little white polka dot. Here is a blue gingham. There is a bright pink and white polka dots. And then what is this? A pink gingham. Wow, y'all, there is so many in here. Like I said, you get 24 sheets of scrapbook paper. I love it. <laughs> I mean, once again, good job Dollar Tree. <laughs> I, they also had this one. This one has like a lot of like darker colors. So let's do this one. Once again, yeah, 24 sheets, six by six. Yeah, it's just a bunch of different colors of polka dots. You've got browns. You've got like a dark gray. Here's kind of like that dark like olive green. <laughs> You can tell the color. This is kind of like a pea green. Here, here's like a different shade of brown. Here's a darker brown. Uh, yeah, another green color. Yeah, just look. Look at all these different shades right here of browns. Wow, that is great for some fall crafting. So those. Um, I don't see black. I thought there was black in here, but maybe just a picture or is that black? Maybe that's black. <laughs> the lighting and the polka dots are messing with my eyes, but you get 24 of these. Then this one right here is like Christmassy looking to me. Look at that. Do you see all of these? All right, let's open this up really quick. Oh, wow. Y'all, look at that. It almost looks like um, leather. It's just paper, but it kind of has like that leather look to it. So this one. Okay, I don't know why I thought Christmas, unless the picture. All right. <laughs> what they have pictured here is not this. I can tell you that now. But these are beautiful for fall. Look at the plaids. Um, here's like some green, like a little like flowers. Look at that one. Yeah, this is not what is pictured, but these are beautiful. See that? Um, here like some purples. There. This one has like a bunch of flowers. Here is like a little bit um, of a colorful plaid. Here's like some little daisies. This has um, almost like music notes or something. Uh, and then you've got some like purple flowers. Wow. Yeah, these are really pretty. All right, and then there's this one, which this looks like what I just opened. So I'm curious if they kind of got mixed up. Let's see. Yeah, I think they did. I think the pictures just got mixed up because look, now you've got like the dark colors. A dark green. I don't know, it's still like these dark flowers. Here's some words, like some cursive. Dark flowers. Yeah, I think just the pictures got switched. See that? 
Um, that's different as flowers and words. Uh, there's like a dark plaid. There's that one. There's this. Another dark plaid. Oh, look at that right there. Wow. Like that right there. All right, but wow. Those are all great. And now look at all these scrapbook pieces of paper I have to craft with. Y'all, if you do the junk journaling, if you do scrapbooking, um, I don't know what else there is, but <laughs> you're all set. All right, what else do we have? Uh, oh, I had to get a three hole punch for Riley for school, jot. So, hopefully this is good. I've never bought one of these from Dollar Tree before. So hopefully it's a good one. Yeah. He's gotta punch some holes in some papers for a binder. That. Ooh, I found some Halloween gemstone stickers. And it's nothing but purple and orange little, um, <laughs> gemstone stickers. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I was trying to think of something else to say, but no. <laughs> it's just these stickers. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, are they individual? No, you can take it off in one big strip if you want. Say, ooh. Those are really pretty. Um, you can do it like this, or you could just like, cut each one off and just kind of do them separate. Yeah, but those colors are beautiful. What? All right, so Thrifty Tiffany showed something in her video the other day. I found it at my Dollar Tree. I thought I would try it. <laughs> so she found, it's a four pack, but I have one in the refrigerator getting cold so I could try it because for me to try a sparkling water it's gotta be cold but they're in a can you get four for a dollar twenty five pure sparkle lemon lime no sweeteners sodium free chlor I was gonna say chlorine <laughs> calorie free sodium free it's a lemon lime flavored sparkling water. Ooh, so, and it's zero. There's no sugars, no nothing. Everything is zeros on there. So I thought I would try it really quick just to see because I have really cut out like soft drinks and drink a lot of water, like flavored water. But I do, there's something about drinking out of a can. You know, just like popping open that like Diet Dr. Pepper. So I thought I would try one of these to see if I like it. So <laughs> let's do an honest taste test really quick. All right, it's somewhat cold. <laughs> let's try this. I mean, it sounds like you're opening a soft drink. Okay. <laughs> Like, it's not terrible. Like, some that I've had are just, woof. Like, it's not bad. I mean, I definitely can get, like, a watered-down Sprite from it. But some reason, sometimes these, like, make me, like, gurgly fill in. Like, I don't know what it is about these. Um, Like, sometimes it'll give me, like, indigestion. But, yeah, that really is not a bad taste. Yeah, it definitely is, like, a watered-down Sprite. All right. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I mean, I'll definitely drink the four that I got. <laughs> I don't know if I'll buy more of them, but yeah, that is not bad at all. All right, that's it. My battery's about to die. <laughs> um, all right, yes, uh, there is going to be a fall crafting video for this weekend. I don't know if it's going to post either tomorrow or Sunday. Just kind of depends, um, but look out for that. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend relax and take care of yourselves and i'll see y'all next time bye guys thanks for watching